What's good folks, this is Silent Mode, maker, artist and Lego enthusiast and I want to introduce you to my six rules for living. These are principles I live by, shaped by my time in the Lego space that will give you an insight into who I am and what I'm about. They're also principles that set me apart from affoles in general. Let me know what you think about them in the comments and which rule resonates with you the most. In most of my videos, I mention what songs are playing in the background. If I don't do it in the video, I make sure I put it in the description. Similarly, if I make good on an idea inspired by someone else, I make sure to credit the source. Whether it's another person or a higher power, giving someone credit for their inspiration shows respect. It's their contribution, so why pretend it's mine? Unfortunately, there are many, including in the Lego space, who believe some people don't deserve to be acknowledged. I'd rather elevate others by admitting that I didn't do everything myself. You might have heard that the golden rule is to treat people how you want to be treated. The actual golden rule is that people will treat you how they want to treat you. My answer is to respond accordingly. It's nice to think that being kind to others and respecting them will encourage them to treat us that way. Truth is, some people will be mean, spiteful or rude and try to take advantage regardless. It's not my goal to have everyone like me, but what I can do is treat people with respect by default. If they choose to be hostile, I might check them for good measure, but I'll definitely have nothing to do with them. When I first discovered the Lego space, every other thing being featured on Lego fan sites were either modular buildings or Star Wars models. Nowadays, you'll never be featured or even mentioned unless you create a super detailed model or one of those viral YouTube videos. While I've had some of my past creations featured elsewhere, you won't see anything I've made recently anywhere other than on this channel. It might be because I create things that are unusual, unpopular, under the radar or just not very good. Either way, I make the kind of things I enjoy making. It's easy to believe you must follow trends, especially if you want recognition. Just remember, you're the only person who can do what you do the way you do it. I actually like working with other people and being part of a group. Sometimes it doesn't work out and people choose to minimize contributions or pretend others don't exist to make themselves look good. Be open to helping others, even if someone else benefits the most, but ensure you look after yourself and your interests. This isn't about being selfish or self-centered, but the idea of everybody having their time in the spotlight. I'd advise distancing yourself from those who believe only certain specific people should be featured. As I've said before, there's nothing wrong with being under someone else as long as you're not being buried in the process. Make sure your connections with others aren't one-sided. Whatever you do in life will be insignificant, but it is very important that you do it because you can't know. I have a motto I repeat to myself whenever exploring a crazy new idea. Don't let the terrorists win. Oh, hold on, not those terrorists. <laughs> Some people find any excuse to shoot down our ideas, make fun of us, and try to bring other people along for the ride. I call them terrorists because they terrorize us into not being authentic and expressing ourselves. But even without their help, sometimes we dissuade ourselves from pursuing that crazy new idea because we're afraid of the response. I generally think it's best to take a shot because even if it doesn't work, the experience leads to the next idea that might. If you don't take the shot, some other person gets the credit and I can tell you from experience, that's not good. The last rule ties the others together, that each of them is valid for others and ourselves. Not just your mates, not just the people you like, everybody. I'm not saying that anyone has to like everybody or that they should support anyone they don't like or disagree with. Actually, one thing that differentiates me from others in the Lego space is that I advocate for the right to disagree. But if you're not going to get behind someone, don't stand in their way either. Provided they don't break the law, 
everybody should have the opportunity to connect with their audience and make a living. Perhaps these rules for living have given you something to think about. Let me know in the comments which one resonated with you the most and if there's one you would add. If you're interested in how I put these rules to use, make sure you check out my YouTube channel and subscribe if you want. This is Silent Mode, once again encouraging you all to do your thing.